What's up, guys? One of the questions I get asked the most is, what are the best units in Ultimate Tower Defense for players just starting out? So today, we're going to be taking a look at the official early game tier list. So uh, this is the official tier list on the Discord. So let's go react to it, and uh, we'll see uh, what I agree with and what units I recommend for those early game players. Also, remember, we are doing the 100,000 Robux giveaway at 100,000 subscribers, and we're getting closer and closer every day. So if you want to enter that in, uh, just hit that subscribe button and we'll be at 100k very soon all right so this is the support tier um personally uh yeah if i was a new player i would definitely recommend getting aquaman or boo if you're able to speedwagon isn't too bad but honestly like nowadays speedwagon isn't really that good as far as the other units i don't really know if i would really bother with these because they only give you like a 10 to 15 percent buff and that's just not enough to make a big difference unless you're comboing it with a more expensive unit and then i can see it making a difference all right, next up we have the D tier. Now, these are units I used to use somewhat back in the day, um, but they're not that great. Now, honestly, I will be honest, this guy isn't that bad. However, I'd probably get um, the common version of him because his DPS is so low. And the rest of these, the DPS just isn't that great. Now, this guy, he used to be good back in the day. And Josuke and Uno aren't too, too bad, but there's definitely better options, especially like the newer units. They just do more damage. All right, C tier, here we go. So there's actually some of these units that I like a lot. Saitama isn't too bad. I've used them on a few new to pro episodes um kakashi has that stun which is really really op so you might be able to build a uh a strategy around that now the rest of them i don't really use that much i just don't really feel like they're that worth it they're just kind of like straight up damaging units but like they'll get you through the first few stories all right b tier now we're starting to go over some units that i used a lot so i actually use spawn a lot because of his aoe same with red hulk i've used them a lot in my series froppy guys this is one of my goats right here. I used her so much, but she's not as good as she used to be. They kind of nerfed her. Um, Kaneki's also very good as well, but again, they kind of nerfed her. Tatsumaki, I've used in a little bit of episodes, I think. Annie, I don't really know. After a buff, he's a little bit better, but the rest of these, I don't really use that much. Itachi's okay. Again, oh, I use All Might a lot. I forgot about that. All Might, I used him a ton. Um, the rest of them, eh, Renjay's not too bad. So you got some decent options here, but uh, those are the ones I personally used. All right, next up, we got the A tier. So now we're starting to get into some good units, guys. Ace, I've used him in a lot of episodes. Uh, Leafa, use her. Um, uh, Toga, guys. She used to be cracked. She insta-kills units with X amount of HP and also does straight-up damage. Really good. Mahito's also pretty good. And Uryu now has knockback, guys. So keep that in mind. That makes Uryu really good, especially based on his normal DPS as well. And Megumin, I have used her in a few episodes as well. So uh, these are the units I would definitely recommend starting to summon for in the A tier if you see them on the banner. All right, moving on to S tier. Surprisingly, we have a lot of mythic units compared to like legendary. So Rukia, really, really good bet. He's really good. Recommended. Toga, uh, Toka, I use her a lot. Superman, I use him a ton. Really good for shields on a budget if you're trying to do like dungeons on a budget. Um, this guy is legendary and he's the only like uh, low rarity legendary. Really, really good for new players. So you'll be able to really pop off with these guys. All right. The best ones in the game are actually Sanji Legendary. Apparently, he's the new GOAT. I have yet to try him out, but I'm going to try him out in my next New to Pro series. So let me know if you guys are excited for a new New to Pro series on the game. And uh, Kirito Blue Streaks, I have used him a few times, but I think he got buffed relatively recently. And I believe you can actually stack him with Asuna. So uh, make sure you guys do that for like the ooh, ooh buff. <laughs> it's ridiculous, guys. So there you go. There's the beginner tier list and big shout out to the tier list team for that one. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.